Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Today's story time, we'll read After the Fall, the exciting sequel to the famous tale of Humpty Dumpty. Then we'll construct a contraption for an at-home egg drop challenge. Let's explore together. Storytime at Mods is powered by PNC Grow Up Great. After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again by Dan Sentat. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I walked past the wall every day, and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying until I got it just right. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. They always do. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Until I was no longer afraid. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Whoosh. And learned how to fly. The end. Life begins when you get back up. Hey everybody, so we just finished reading After the Fall, and now we're going to go into our awesome, excellent craft. So it's going to look a little something like this as we learn life begins after you get back up. For Humpty, he was terrified of going back up to that place where he fell, but he got innovative with it to get brave. So for this craft, we are going to create our own little safety net for our Humpty Dumpty. All you're going to need is an egg, 
I don't have an egg right now. But you need that egg you have right at home, a paper bowl, some straws, some newspapers, scissors, masking tape, cotton balls, and anything else you have lying around the house. The important thing is you want to create a safety net in which we can drop an egg onto the floor without breaking it. So let's get started. So the basic idea here is that we want to make a awesome contraption so if we drop our egg, our egg won't crack like Humpty Dumpty. Because unfortunately we don't all, we don't have all the king's horses or all the king's men to fix our egg if it cracks. And I'm sure you're not going to put a bunch of tape and glue over your egg. So what we're gonna do is you want to utilize at least my contraption. You don't have to do exactly like me, but this is kind of a basic idea. You want to take some newspaper and you want to make lots of padding around the base of your bowl. This way, when it hits the ground, your egg doesn't take that force that causes it to crack. You want to make sure you utilize only masking tape. That's part of your challenge. That way, it doesn't stick. Now the cool part about this, is it doesn't just have to be newspaper. You can even make a parachute if that helps to lessen the velocity as it falls. I'm going to wrap it around my bowl here. Fun creative process. This is definitely a two-person job, so make sure you have mom and dad to help you, especially if you're working with scissors. That way you don't get hurt. There we are. Now we have a nice little cushiony pillowcase for our egg. Sometimes it helps to just tape it along the bottom. You only have one roll of masking tape, so be careful what to use. Do everything quickly and efficiently. I'm sure Humpty's story is very relatable to a lot of people. We do something like ride our bike, and we love riding our bike, but we fall one time and we're afraid to get back up. But the point is, you can't let fear stop you from doing all the things you used to love. You find ways around it to enjoy it like you used to. Now how we have our nice little cushiony bed here, we'll crack a little hole in there so we have some nice support. And now maybe you want to line it with some cotton balls. Now you can either do this around the egg or you just continue to fluff it around the center. And gee, our Humpty turned into a bird. Perhaps you'll like a little nesting. You see my egg here? Boop, there we are. Here is Humpty's cousin. And we are going to go ahead and cover him up with cotton. This idea is usually to help soften it further, especially the fragile shell of the egg. I'm just going to bury her in there. And then add some tape, because tape fixes everything. Remember everybody, it doesn't have to be pretty, it has to be effective. <laughs> There we go. It's nice and extra protection. Make sure you get it on both sides so your little eggy doesn't flip out. There we go. Nothing will harm my eggy. This is a fun little engineering challenge because you're looking for a way to disperse the force of the fall in a way that it doesn't affect your egg. Parents, no cheating. 
can't look anything up. You have to use your brain. Now the cool thing about straws is straws add an extra sort of support system. So in case when you drop it and if it flips, we can use our straws as a kind of cross beam system. So it takes the brunt force of that fall. Do it like that. And it makes for a cool handle. There we go. it's securely in there. Oh, my, my straw came up. This is why it helps to have two heads and four hands. A beautiful contraption. are done. It may not be the prettiest contraptions, but I say it's pretty good at protecting your egg. Now that you've finished your contraption, it should look a little something like this. Your egg should be perfectly protected in the center, and now it's time to test it. Now, for the sake of your flooring, in case your egg does not survive, you're going to want to take it outside and drop it. That way, if it does crack, there is no yolk all over the place. And that is it. Thank you for sticking around, guys. We hope to see you next week on our video. Thank you for joining us for Virtual Camp Discovery. This series is brought to you by Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner. Storytime is powered by PNC Grow Up Great. Please stay safe and connected with Mod's by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.